few minutes. After the grace pass meeting, the academic procession will start with the band being played. So as soon as we hear the band, I request everybody to stand. The virtual centers of the 34 nodes, please be aware that the program is going to start in a few more minutes. As soon as you hear the band being played, I request the audience in the nodal centers to stand up for the academic procession and remain standing until the invocation comprising of the national anthem and the Tamil Thai being played. Nodal centers are in the audience or in the program.
Ben o kesin.
have the fortune of having the Honourable Prime Minister of India as the chief guest. Thank you very much, sir. Convocation is something special, a sort of one and only moment in the life of any student, particularly the student of a medical university. And when the Honourable Prime Minister himself is the chief guest and delivers the convocation address, pride and privilege are multiplied several times and it is a dream come true. We are very fortunate to have our visionary Prime Minister addressing us today. I am sure his words of wisdom will not only guide the graduates but also the university to scale great heights. A total of 21,889 graduates will receive their degrees today. Of these, 3,536 candidates are at the postdoctoral, doctoral and postgraduate levels. Due to the COVID pandemic situation, the university is not in a position to have all the candidates in person to hold a mega ceremony as both the grand year of the occasion and the signature of the chief guest do warrant. As the Tamil adage says, Pon Vaipu Idatil Pu Vaipu the Boda, 34 nodal centers, each with a complement of faculty and students, are digitally connected to participate. Apart from these 34 centers, uplinks have been established for the 21,000 and odd candidates, their kitten kin, the 680 and odd institutions, their staff and students, and other members of the medical fraternity. Our Prime Minister has given us a new vision and a new mission of Atmanirbhar Bharat. If Bharat has to become Atmanirbhar, the medical and paramedical fraternity has a major role to play. Lack of access to education and in a larger contribution, lack of access to health services are the two biggest causes of vulnerability. Hence, we have a major role to play in improving the health of the people, reducing our vulnerabilities to diseases and pandemics and thus make India self-sufficient. I extend a very hearty welcome to the Honourable Prime Minister on my personal behalf, on behalf of the University and on behalf of the entire medical and paramedical fraternity of Tamil Nadu. The Honourable Governor of Tamil Nadu has always been a pillar of support to all good things. I welcome the Honourable Governor of Tamil Nadu and the Chancellor of this Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. I take this opportunity to welcome the ever dynamic Honourable Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Government of Tamil Nadu and the Pro Chancellor of this University. I welcome the Principal Secretary, Health and Family Welfare, Government of Tamil Nadu. I welcome the former Vice Chancellors of this University, the Vice Chancellor of the Tamil Nadu Veterinary Sciences University, all the esteemed guests, the members of the Governing Council and Senate of the University, the Chairman, Presidents and both members of the various faculties and boards of studies, the members of the various authorities of the University, the graduates, parents, management, staff and students of all the affiliated institutions and the viewers present at the nodal and remote locations. All of us are waiting eagerly to hear the Honourable Prime Minister of India. I once again welcome the Honourable Prime Minister of India. I invite the Chief Guest, Honourable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to deliver the convocation address. The Honour of Tamil and Chancellor of this University, Sri Banwari Nai Kauji, Vice Chancellor, Sultan Society, faculty, staff, and my dear students. It gives me great pleasure to be with you and you mark the 33rd convocation of this university. 
university when you are earning degrees and diplomas in various medical, dental, house and paramedical disciplines. I have been told that more than 21,000 candidates are being conferred with the degree and diploma studies. But there was one fact I want to especially mention. The numbers indicate that around 30% are men and 70% are women. And I congratulate all the graduates. I also convey my special appreciation to the women candidates. It is always special to see women leading from the front in every field, any field. When this happens, it is a moment of pride and a moment of joy. Friends, the success of you all and this institution would have made the great MDR very happy. His governance was full of compassion toward the poor. The subject of healthcare, education, and empowerment of women were dear to him. A few years ago, I went to Sri Lanka where NGR was born. India is honored to be working for our Tamil sisters and brothers in Sri Lanka in the health sector. A few ambulance services financed by this Vatanaka India is being widely used by the Tamil community. I will never forget the inauguration ceremony of hospital and Viboya. This is a modern hospital that will help many. This effort is healthcare and that too for the Tamil community would have made NGR happy. Students, friends, this is the time when you will transition from one important phase of your life to another. This is the time when you will transition from learning to healing. This is the time when you will transition from earning marks in your exam to making a mark in society. Friends, the COVID-19 pandemic was a completely unexpected occurrence for the world. There was no preset formula for anything. In such a time, India had not only made a new path, but also helped others walk with us. India had among the lowest Recovery rates of India is producing medicines for the world and making vaccines for the world. You are graduating at a time where there is great aspiration and respect for Indian medical professionals, scientists, and pharma professionals. Overall, the Indian health ecosystem. It being seen with new eyes, new respect, and new credibility. However, this also means that the world will have greater expectation from you, which is a responsibility on your young and strong soldiers. 
the learning from the pandemic can help us fight other diseases like TB and that. Friends, the global was saying the healing, the doctor, the medicine, and the care. The treatment covers all these four. Throughout the pandemic and in the middle of disruption, each of these four pillars were at the forefront of fighting the war with the unknown enemy. All those who fought the virus emerged as the heroes of humanity. Friends, we are transforming the entire medical education and healthcare sector. The National Medical Commission will bring great transparency. It will also rationalize now to set up new medical policies. It will also improve the quality and availability of human resources in the sector. During the last six years, NBPS seeds increased by more than 30,000, which is the rise of more than 50 percent of The number of PGCs increased by 24,000, which is the rise of around 80 percent from 2014. In 2014, there are six states in the country. In the last six years, we have approved 15 more aims across the country. Tamil Nadu has been known for its medical education. To further help our youth from the state, our government has permitted the establishment of 11 new medical colleges. The new medical policy will be established in those districts which currently do not have a medical college. For each of these colleges, the government of India will give more than 2,000 crore rupees. We have announced the PM Atmanirbhar Swastha Bharat Yojana with an outlay of more than 64,000 crore rupees in the budget. This will boost capacity of primary, secondary, and tertiary healthcare to clear detection and cure of new emerging disease. Our Alzheimer's heart is the world's largest health action program to provide quality care to 50 crore people for about 1,600 medical and surgical procedures. Journals of the Canada have been expanded in number to more than 7,000 providing medicines at much cheaper rates. Medical devices like stents and knee implants have been made much cheaper in our country, helping the roads of the Friends, doctors are among the most respected professors in our country. Today, after the pandemic, this respect has grown up even more. This respect is because people know the seriousness of their profession where many times it is literally a life and death question to solve. However, to be serious and to look serious are two different things. I request to all of you to still keep your sense of humor intact. It will also help to cheer up your patients and keep their moral heart. I've seen some doctors who are excellent at their job, 
but also light up the hospital surrounding with their numerous, numerous conversations with patients and even with the staff. This also gives the people hope, which is crucial in people. Keeping your sense of whom are healthy will also help in taking care of your own physical and mental health in such a high pressure profession. You are the people who take care of the nation's health and you can do so only if you concentrate upon your health and fitness as well. Yoga, meditation, running, cycling, choose some fitness regimen which forms a health your own family. Friends, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahams, the Guru of Swami Vivekananda, used to say, Shiva Kyane, Shiva Shiva, which means serving people in the same as serving Shiva or God. If there is someone who has the greatest opportunity to literally leave this novel idea, it is medical professionals. In your long career, grow professionally and at the same time never forget your own growth. Right? about self-interest. Doing so will make you fearless. Thanks. Congratulations once again to those who have got the degree when this word and with this word I conclude my prayer and wish you all a purposeful wonderful and challenging career in this existing sector. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, very sincere, heartfelt thanks to the Honorable Prime Minister of India for an extremely enlightening speech which I am sure will forever be green in the memory of everyone's mind. Thank you very much, sir. We are very greatly honored. Thank you very much. Where are the candidates be now presented? Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you one in-person candidate of BSc degree who has been qualified to receive the degree. We shall in our world and degree. 
We have an owner in the discharge of our duties and about the dignity and integrity of our profession and the honor and name of our university and our alma mater. We swear to serve the sick and healing patients under our care. and all those who need our services to the best of our ability without any consideration of past need or status. Now you do not repeat. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit those presented here and those presented in absentia for the degrees of the various faculties of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University, for which they have been declared qualified in this university, and in token thereof, I authorize the admitted candidates to wear the robes ordained as the insignia of their qualifications. Thank you. Where are the candidates to be seated? This is the small memento to the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu. Thank you very much, sir, for all the support, compassion, and guidance that you have consistently given this university.